Welcome back boys and girls, but first, if you don't want to see a dead animal or blood, you need to stop right here. But if you want to see what this 338 feather can do to a deer, you want to stick around. Now this is why you don't want to miss the snow day. Oh man, I got a lot of work ahead of me. As I mentioned previously, I was in a hurry to get out because evening hunt, it gets dark pretty quickly. So I don't have a lot of footage. But when I went there, I was really impressed with the amount of blood we had on that trail. I mean, that place was pulled down with a blow from where he got shot to where he ran to about 40 yards. I mean, it, it wasn't just like a blood drip. It was like pouring all the way down. It was a good shot. That's a lot of blood. It was another heart shot. You can see it right there. I probably lost half of the heart. Just looking at it, I thought I lost maybe half of the heart, but when I lifted, it was not edible. It was like a ragged cloth. Okay, this is the biggest buck that I shot this year. When the buck was shot, he was lifting his head up, trying to eat something from a branch above him, and he was stretched up and I shot him right behind the, the front leg and it hit the heart but I think because of the angle he had an entrance hole but the, it came out to the front sternum and the sternum in the front was almost gone I barely had to use the serrated knife to cut open the front sternum okay that's the entrance hole on this side he was standing on this side looking up and I was shooting from a higher elevation so he went right through right behind his leg hit the heart bust the hole a breastbone or sternum and it's a perfect shot because it's a hot shot and both of my front quarter is intact not damaged at all nothing damaged in the hind quarter so we got 100 percent meat out of this guy within 300 yards i really believe 338 feather is actually better than 308 or 358 and in the future i'm going to talk about why i think this 338 feather is so unfairly underrated many people are confused about this american eagle and honestly, only hunting ammunition that I use for American Eagle is 338 Federal because ammunition on 338 is very limited. But as for me, American Eagle is just fine. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy life with what you got. But mostly remember, Jesus came to save us, not to judge us. Merry Christmas.